when we look at the fourth industrial revolution, many people have had the concern that government is using it as a buzzword. And I think a lot of people have said that, and a lot of people have expressed that um, in their different sort of constituents at the end. But when we really look at where the world is going, we do realize that the fourth industrial revolution is a thing. And I think one thing that Africa or South Africa is, is struggling with is the fact that we're actually late to the party. Um, when we did our research in terms of the rest of the countries, when you look at countries like Denmark, um, the UK, America, etc., they've already sort of completed their fourth industrial revolution strategies. And South Africa only started their strategy this year, or their plan this year. And I think the biggest problem that we have when we see this vast unemployment, um, a lot of it can be traced to the fact that we never had a plan in place to how to deal with the world changing, how to deal with the employment landscape actually changing. When we look at the way that the president has taken to the fourth industrial revolution, there's a seriousness to it. We actually realize that this is high on his priority list and he's actually deploying his best resources to actually make sure that this becomes a success. So sort of to take us out of our very gloomy mood, there is a plan for the fourth industrial revolution in South Africa and most importantly, branching out to Africa as the president will soon become the president of the African Union. One of the specific um, 4 IR techs that I'm quite passionate about that I believe very strongly in is blockchain technology. As we know, South Africa and Africa has been riddled with corruption. When we look at blockchain technology, we realize that this is one of the solutions that can actually curb this corruption issue that we've actually got, that can solve some of these issues. So these are some of the tech that we're looking into bringing into place and ensuring that we're able to participate in the fourth industrial revolution. Are there problems with implementing this? Definitely, there are a lot of problems. But is it doable? It's very doable because the rest of the world does need our natural resources already. So the demand is already there. So much of the work that we need to do is arrange and organize ourselves as a country to plug into that demand effectively and grow that value chain that's already existent within the rest of the global market.